170 degrees, okay? Well, some of us might be thinking, how about 360? Well, that is not possible, at least a full circle, it might sprain your neck. So this is actually 270 degrees, might appear as 275 as well, alright? Okay, belong and it's time to head back as well, off you go! Nice silent flight there. Alright, now talking about our, our birds of prey, now, not only are they able to hunt, but these birds are also intelligent as well. Um, our next bird is going to demonstrate to us how smart they can be. Now, right now, okay, I am actually setting up the stage with the props that I have. So I already lay out the leaves and on this side, I'm placing three bucks. Now, in addition to all this, I'll be hiding pieces of food underneath some of these items. Now, uh, these pieces of food represents the prey that these birds go after, right? Prey such as worms or even insects. Right, moving along to the rocks right here. Okay, I'm gonna hide pieces of food underneath the rocks as well. I'm just going to do three rocks. There you go. And finally, excellent. So I'm gonna quickly keep the basket back inside. Excellent! Looks like I'm all set and ready. So ladies and gentlemen, let's put our hands together and welcome Brown, our Southern Karakara! The Southern Karakara is going to be found in South America and right now he is approaching the rocks. Look at him go! Wow! Well known for their foraging habits, these birds are very opportunistic. They have long legs and flat claws which enables them to overturn the rocks easily. Now I believe we got three out of three. <laughs> Okay, let's move on to the uh, leaves right here. Here we go, Raul. Oh, look at him. He's actually sweeping the leaves to look for more food, all right? Okay, were you able to find anything there? No, not to worry. I'm just going to reward you. Now, on to the tree bucks. Here we go. And look at him. Oh, very smart indeed. So, he actually swiped the tree bucks to look for the food. Now, if the insect were to take off and fly, these birds are able to make vertical flights into the air to catch it, just like that. But that's slow. Let's give him a bit more challenge. We'll try it high this time. So, Raul, get yourself ready. Ooh, he actually bit me. <laughs> All right. Okay, Raul, let's try this once again. And excellent, you just bit me twice in a row. Excellent. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Sound in Karakara. By the way, they are the largest of all Tarakas. Thank you very much. Now, Ram here has been with us for quite some time. In fact, he is already 30 years old. That's right, okay. All right, okay, Ram. It's time for you to head back inside. Okay, you have a piece of food on your mouth, all right? Okay, Ram, let me just, oh, there you go, you got it yourself. All the way back inside, thank you very much. Raul, you need to share the lamp light with the rest of the birds, okay? It's time for you to head back inside. Off you go. <laughs> Looks like someone loves the light light out here. <laughs> Alright, Raul, come on. Okay, thank you very much, Al. Southern Kara Kara. Very mischievous bird indeed. Alright, so let me just quickly keep the rocks before I trip over them. Here we go. Excellent. So you have seen a bird that looks for food by scavenging on the ground. Our next bird is able to snatch food from most surfaces. Now, prove that I have a piece of stick right here with me. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to skewer this piece of food at the end of this stick. And we shall see a little bit of prey coming from that side and snatching this piece of food. Now, just for remind you right here, this remains to that, not try to reach out or First, he might be flying low above you, right? Okay, so it looks like we are all set and ready. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's meet Rado! And where is he? Alright, there you go. So, one bird loves the limelight, the other bird is a bit shy. There you go, Rado, and a great snatch there. For those of you who have missed it, not to worry. We shall do this once again. Here we go, Rado. And a great snack there, awesome! Now not only that, these birds are able to catch food in mid-air as well. There you go, Rado! Awesome! Would you like to see more of that? Yes or no? 
fish from the surface of the water and catch flying insects using their beak in mid air that's right okay there you go one just left back for home all right 